Hey my squid links, it's Katie here and guess what? I've got a new creative art box unboxing for you guys today. I'm so excited! Uh, so today I was sent this creative art box for your viewing pleasure to review and unbox for you guys. So if you don't know what the creative art box is, basically it is a box full of handpicked art mediums every single month. You get it delivered straight to your door. Uh, it's really exciting because it's like Christmas every month because you get some art supplies and it's very exciting and who doesn't love art supplies? Uh, if you're from my channel, I'd imagine you do. <laughs> uh, so this is the September box as you can tell from the title. This subscription box comes in increments of 1 month, 3 months, 6 months, or 12 months and every month that you subscribe you get a discount so for one month it's $29 uh, plus free shipping to the US but if you subscribe for three months and you pay the overall three month fee you get a little bit of a discount and so on and so forth for the six and twelve month like I said before it is free shipping to the United States but if you live outside of that it is a fee kind of based on your location so they do ship out to other countries but there will be a shipping fee um, if you want to order the October box, uh, you better do so quickly because it ends on September 16th at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. If you are not in the Central Standard Time Zone, do a quick Google search and find out what that is in your time um, so you don't miss it because Creative Art Box is really amazing and you don't want to miss this. Um, they do ship out on the first of every month, so you should get your box by the first of the week, which is really exciting. Um, and yeah, without further ado, we can go ahead and open this up. I know you guys are dying because I know I am. I've already cut open the tape, but I have no idea what's inside and I could not be more excited. So let's go ahead and open this up. So, yay, we've got more worms to throw! <laughs> uh, I swear that's my favorite part. Okay, so, looks like we have got some sandpaper right on the top. I do need to find this card, however, so I can kind of look at it. So we've got what seems to be some sandpaper. Here, let's move these little wormies out of the way so we can kind of see what's over here. There we go. Then we've got a Prismacolor kneaded eraser. Very nice. We've got a cute little sticker. This one says, Be Fabulous. I'm so glad I haven't gotten a repeat yet. These are so cute. Next up, we have something wrapped in a uh, cute little tissue paper. Let's open this up. I don't want to rip this sticker. It's so cute. Yes, I won't have to. Yay, everyone wins. Ooh, very nice. Okay, you guys can't see it yet. <laughs> so, um, this seems to be some pastels and charcoal. So we have two black, two brown, and one white. Um, if you got this box and they broke during shipping, that's kind of normal. Uh, I think mine are intact. They've got some chips, but that's okay because they are still usable. But I'm very excited to use this. Alright, so let's set these over here. Alright, next up I see this mannequin. Oh, I have a bigger version of him, but he's cute. Or she, he, I'm not sure. But this one is on a stick, so it's not going to come off. Sorry, I was out of focus there, out of frame. Um, but he's really cute, um, and I think I'll get some good use out of this. Alright, let's move these worms aside. Next up, we have a white eraser. It's just a plain white eraser, there's no brand or anything on it. Then we've got a little sharpener. It's got a little bit of dust on it. Um, probably from the pastels. <laughs> Alright, next we have got four sketching pencils. So these are in HB. Let's see if you can see that. These are in HB, 6B, 2B, and 4B. So we've got a pretty nice range here. Next up, we've got a blending tortillion, tortillon. I don't know how you pronounce that, um, but it's a blending stump, essentially. 
Next up, we have a Koenor Hardmuth Progresso, uh, what looks like a graphite pencil, and it is really heavy, um, so I'm really excited to try this out. And what seems to be the last thing in the box, oh, nope, there's one more thing. This is a Prismacolor Colorless Blender. And then the last thing in the box is this teeny tiny, uh, it's another blending stump, but this one isn't double-ended. Uh, yeah, so, wow, <laughs> wow, wow. There's a lot of stuff in this box. I will disclaimer that this is the super awesome box. So one of these items was, was kind of like an extra item. Um, so they kind of toss in one extra item, which I think is really exciting. I'm not really sure which one is the extra item, but... I'm very, very excited to try this stuff out. Um, I don't really sketch in black and white kind of charcoal or anything like that. So this is going to be a really nice challenge for me. And I'm very excited to share it with you guys. Um, I'm very happy with everything in this box. So let's go ahead and kind of go into the illustration. And I am going to talk further about all of my experiences using this stuff. But this is a fantastic box. If you haven't already, go check out Creative Art Box and go subscribe to their next month so you don't miss it because look at this box. It has so much value. Oh my word. So go ahead and do that and let's go ahead and go over to the illustration. We're getting a couple of uh, speed paints or should I say speed sketches in this video. So first off, I'm actually sketching my mannequin. You can't see my mannequin, but it is in this pose. Um, I decided to do a little bit of a warm up with the mannequin. Mannequin, um, before I went on to my actual illustration. One thing I want to apologize for is um, the lighting on this. Some of the areas got really shiny on my actual illustration and uh, I felt kind of bad because it is a little hard to see um, once I add a lot of the shading and stuff. So I apologize. I just really wanted to do a different angle and I thought it would be fun. Um, don't expect these kinds of angles very often, but you know, I just thought it was a little something fun and extra to do, especially because this is a sketchbook video um, because, you know, the supplies were more fit for a sketchbook instead of a... Um, regular paper. I guess I could have, but I just wanted to add it to my sketchbook. Um, so I thought it would be more fun. I thought about drawing on the box, but I don't usually keep these boxes and I want to keep the doodles that I do with this. So, um, I would have felt really bad about throwing the box away after I worked really hard on drawing and stuff. So I am just uh, drawing a headshot. Um, I really like the way this came out. It's funny, whenever I was younger, I was always afraid to use color, and now that I've experimented with color, I'm afraid to color things in black and white. And it's really funny because you'd think, since as a kid I drew a lot of black and white stuff, you'd think I would be comfortable with it, but it was the opposite. I'm extremely uncomfortable with it, but I really like the way this came out, um, so I might do some more black and white doodles eventually and I might do something like a monochrome and then a pop of color because I always love how things like that look. So can we talk about the value of this box? Like there were so many things in this box and yeah I know I got the super awesome box so it came with one extra item but even if it wasn't there were so many things in here. You got five pastels, four sketching pencils, a graphite pencil, a colorless blender, two blending stumps, a sharpener, two erasers, and a mannequin, and I think that's it, but if it's not, yeah, but it's just so much value, and I don't know, I was just so happy to get this and use it, and I really love everything in here, and I plan on using them a lot, so thank you so much Creative Art Box for sending me this, I really, really loved it, and I appreciate it. Um. So, if you guys want to get a creative art box, I will post a link down in the description below to where you can do so. Uh, I, you guys should because it's a lot of value and if you haven't, what are you waiting for? If you want, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My links are down in the description below and don't forget to subscribe to join our cute little squid pod if you haven't already to keep updated on when I upload new videos. And until next time guys, toodaloo! It actually looks pretty good. You know, this picture doesn't look that bad. Um, one thing I really like is the shading I got with the brown and the yellow. 